what I'm doing here is I'm using a website called Paint Hua. That's PaintHua.com. And I have it connected to my local Stable Diffusion. So the images that you're seeing here are coming from my computer. It's uh, hooked up and we're actually watching a playback that's going at three times the speed. So you're seeing the images pop up much faster than they actually did. The intent behind Paint Hua is actually to do outpainting. So outpainting is where you take an image or you want to keep drawing that bigger than it currently is. What I wanted to see, or there's different models for stable diffusion. So the one that all of these images that you're seeing are with its 1.5 model. And there's another model that is used specifically for inpainting. But actually what we're seeing right now is that this really long image, it never returned from my local server and it seemed like doing an image of this size through Paint Hua just made my stable diffusion blow up. So I'm, I'm about to bring up the console to try and figure out what happened. But so there are some limitations. I can't just draw that much at one time. There's one specifically for what's called in painting, which is that you have an already completed image and you're trying to uh, change some of the interior parts of it. Generally what you'd want to do is use their model for in painting to do out painting as well a lot of the time. What we're going to see, I'm going to Check out the differences between the regular 1.5 model and the in-painting model and then another one that was based on mid-journey which is another AI art generator you can use mid-journey uh, for free for a little bit but eventually if you use it enough you have to buy tokens uh, whereas Stable Diffusion, you know, as long as your computer can run it, you're able to run it. So I'm, I'm doing two images right now from the base model. And then I'm going to try and see what it looks like when I do an in-painting between them with the regular model. And then I'm going to see what it's like to do two images with the in-painting model and then try different in-painting that model and so on just experimenting with the in-painting but all you're seeing right now and that you have seen so far is with the base 1.5 model so you'll see that the in-painting got a little bit of the top and bottom but really like those are completely separate images. I went to my Stable Diffusion uh, user interface and changed the model that it's using. So now it's going to be the model that is useful for in-painting. And these are the same prompts. So this, this says create a beautiful computer desktop background with uh, bright neon colors. So you'll see that the regular model is doing completely separate images from what the in-painting model does. Whereas at the in-painting model gives actual computers for when I ask for a computer background. But you can see on this one, it actually continued the top image down or it continued down from the original. Whereas the base model did a very poor job of that, but it still didn't like meld between them. You see that the top image had the one image and then it had the in painting below it, but it didn't continue what was actually below that. 
Here I'm going to try out different ways of configuring it to say, okay, how much is it taking from the top image? How much is it taking from the bottom? How much is it taking from the left, from the right, so on. And this is going to all basically be with the uh, in-painting model. So the in-painting model is much more likely to give me those um, computers. All right, I, I'm switching the model to the in-painting model. Okay, so I've got the in-painting model on the top, the 1.5 model on the bottom. I'm doing the in-paint with the in-painting model. So I'm trying to see, you know, where is it going to take from? And you see that it, it didn't actually uh, take from either of them. So here I'm doing the in-painting um, just of the top image, just of the bottom image. And this seems to actually be the most likely to give you a clear out painting is it's trying to take things from the left mostly so you'll see that one it filled in a block and it had images to the right but it barely took from that image at all so here I'm seeing so it's got two clearly defined areas and it just continued those to the left so it's it's really not joining uh, it's not doing the in painting top to bottom as much as it is left to right. And still, because we're using the in painting model still, uh, you see that it's much more likely to try and give me computers rather than what you'd see as a computer background. So I can see that it's now completed generating but uh, my image hasn't returned yet. So I'm also finding the, the limits of what is going to keep, be returned and what is not. And I don't know where it breaks down. Like the browser just thinks that it never got anything back. And the server says that it's done. So I, I was unable to figure out where things actually went wrong. So here I have a consistent image that it created already uh, at this length. So I know it can create this length and then I wanted to see, okay, it only has the top. Is it going to do in painting on the bottom of this image? Or will it completely create something new? So you see there is a completely new image. So it did not continue what was already on top of it at all. Uh, this is with the standard model. All right, now this time we're doing the one, the model that was based off of Midjourney V4, which creates incredibly beautiful pictures. It has its own kind of art style to it. And you see that that's very different than um, either of the art styles from the base 1.5 model or the in painting model. Now these are all with the same prompt of beautiful computer desktop background with neon colors. All right, I'm finally starting to do some in-painting testing with the mid-journey model. And that turned out really well. So that was from the bottom and top, and it seemed to take from both of them. Uh, this is, it's taking just from the top, and now it has uh, two distinctly separate uh, images. We've got taken from the top, bottom, and the left side. And it really actually did all of them. Whereas um, I felt like the, uh, 
the in painting model as as nicely as it does doesn't take from all of the separate uh, places that it can but we will see where it does better than the mid-journey trained model in a moment all right so there on the bottom you see we clearly have a neck and chin and it does not want to turn that into a face <laughs> so it turned it into some sort of mechanical uh, monstrosity so here i'm deleting that section and i'm switching the model to the in painting model one of the nice things that you can do with uh, paint hua is to uh, not only delete but uh, do multiple iterations to see what it's going to look like. So on that time I did a delete, but uh, I'll also show what it's like. So that's with the mid journey. So we're doing multiple uh, iterations uh, from the mid journey train model. In general, these do not seem to be uh, continuing that face. So you can clearly see it's pulling from the left and it is pulling from the bottom and the right, but it doesn't, it didn't understand that this was a face. Whereas look at what we've got now with the uh, in painting model, that immediately it's a face and it keeps doing faces. It keeps creating, it knows more, it understands more about what's around it than the mid journey model. So it didn't just continue the image, it tried to figure out what is this image. Now, what just happened on the right, you'll see the difference between the in-painting model and the mid-journey model. You see how the mid-journey model has that very sleek looking style. The in-painting, it started doing a, a much more pixelated computer game looking tree rather than the nice models that uh, Mid Journey, the beautiful look that Mid Journey provided.